The world's first transgender mayor and MP, Georgina Bayer, has died after a long illness at the age of 65. Bayer has been remembered as a trailblazer and a fighter, and her friends say she was displaying her much-loved humour right until the end. Here's political editor, Jen Lynch. Never a dull moment. In fact, anything but dull. The many faces of Georgina Bayer. entertainer, trailblazing politician, actor and fearless activist. Yes, I have worn a few costumes in my time. <laughs> Georgina has blazed a trail uh, that has made it much easier for others to follow. Bayer's adult life was a very public one. She was a singer, a drag queen and a sex worker before turning to politics, becoming the country's first transgender mayor in 1995 in the Wairarapa town of Carterton. Four years later, she won the Wairarapa seat for Labour against Nationals candidate broadcaster Paul Henry and made history again. And yes, I have to say it, I guess, the first transsexual in New Zealand to be standing in this House of Parliament, not only in New Zealand, ladies and gentlemen, but also uh, in the world. This is a historic moment. Bayer was born in Wellington and underwent surgery for sex reassignment in 1984. She said it was her good friend, the flamboyant Carmen, who paved the way for her to live her own life. In Parliament, she fought ugly battles over prostitution law reform and civil unions. I will not accept that children of same-sex couples go to school today and get questioned about the value of the family from which they come. She, she didn't care what people thought. She said what she wanted to say. And I think that's really important. And, and people have latched on to that because often she was a really, really early voice talking about things. So she'll be the first voice to many, many, many people including this cutting takedown of Destiny Church, which marched on Parliament against the Civil Union Bill. Your hatred is totally intolerable. Bayer spent seven years in Parliament, surprising even herself. My majority has increased each time, and whether or not you want to believe it, it was the people at the end of the day, the people who voted for me, who persuaded me to stay on. In 2005, she became a List MP and resigned from Parliament two years later. It was difficult at the time, but she was robust enough to take one step at a time to make progress that we needed for that community. And I just hope that those of us who are here now are able to continue in her footsteps. Bayer recently campaigned for live organ donation and in 2017 had a kidney transplant after four years of end-stage renal failure. There are no words that can cover I think the range of emotion you feel when somebody makes a gift like that. In 2020, she was celebrated in the Queen's Birthday Honours and as recently as July last year, following her appearance on Masked Singer, Bayer was upbeat about her health battles. I had a few issues in the last couple of weeks, but um, we're getting over that and, um, and we're moving forward. So I'm, I'm OK, tickety-boo. She died in hospice this afternoon. Her family says she was surrounded by her nearest and dearest 24-7 over the past week. She accepted what was happening, was cracking jokes and had a twinkle in her eye right till the final moments. Georgina Bayer was 65.